Hey everybody, it's Brett from More Music and More Guitars. 58 was a great year for Gibson and Karina Guitars, apparently. So they have made some reissues that are pretty astounding and pretty inspirational to play. This guitar has some seriously killer pickups in it that uh, really surprised me, okay? So I'm gonna get into this thing. This is a 58 Karina Custom Shop Gibson reissue to be as close to the 58 as they can get. Several months ago they came out with the um, with the model that had all the Brazilian and everything in it, and that was that was a little bit out of some people's price range. This one's a little closer. It's still kind of pricey at 10K, but if you are looking for something to hang on your wall and get down because it's inspirational, this one, or that guy right there, pretty killer. I just got done playing the 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 uh, Explorer. <sighs> Man, it's so much fun to play. And to look down and think you, you know, I think they said they only had like 19 of those things. They only built 19 of them. So unbelievably rare. This thing is just like, you just, it just makes you play better because you feel good about it. You're, you're sitting here, you're looking down at your hands and you realize you're playing a Karina Flying V and you're just playing it, you know, it's killer. So anyway, it's got the most important feature, which is that keeps it from sliding off your leg. Um, just fun to play. So let's go through the specs. Uh, you can read through that if you want, but it has an output jack. That's important. In fact, uh, error correct uh, pick guard, um, volume, volume tone, three-way switch to pick between the pickups. These are custom bucker pickups, both of them. Um, ABR1 bridge uh, through body. For your, uh, for your strings, which is nice to get a little extra sustain. Um, gold hardware, which is just, on any other guitar, I don't like. I just don't, I don't dig. You know, there's some Les Pauls that I can get along with, but, uh, but this guitar, meant to have gold hardware. Uh, Indian Rosewood fretboard, vintage style Cluson tuners. Uh, feel really good. I tuned it up before we started and played it for 20 minutes. Never came out of tune. Sounds, it, it's great. So anyway, I guess we shall get to playing it in some different tonal situations and we'll uh, let you hear this baby. Cool, so let's, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the, um, I'm gonna sit like this now that you've seen the, the beauty. Uh, I'm gonna sit like this, it's a little more comfy for me to play. Um, so I'm neck, distortion or gain setting on the amp. Uh, just play a little bit. So once you, you know, if you just switch from the, the bridge, or for, sorry, from the neck to the bridge, you can sit here and think, man, that sounds really thin and brittle, but you play it for a while and you realize how much meat is still on that bone. You know what I'm saying? It's like a lot of times when you play a bridge pickup, you kind of lose all the throat, kind of the, the guts, you know, like it's like you're singing without breathing all the way into your lungs. You know what I mean? But this thing has some has a little bit of gristle left on there. So whenever you switch over to that, uh, 
that bridge pickup, it's got some brightness, but it's still, it's still present, you know, it's still got low end presence. So don't be afraid to go there. You just got to get your ears woken up to it. After you play on the bridge or the neck pickup for a while, everything's going to sound bright because this thing's got some real good low end. So right now I'm up here. I'm going to go the clean channel, volume, tone, everything's all the way up. It's really, it's really forward. Like the pickups are really kind of pushing this clean channel and I like it because I know I can do this, you know. That's cool. It can do a lot, guys. It can really do a lot. And, you know, this this is one of those price points that a lot of people are going to kind of say, man, why does a guitar need to be that expensive? But, man, to feel a piece of history like this and to be able to get inspired, it really is a nice playing guitar. And these pickups, man, Gibson seems to be knocking it out of the park with pickups lately, or, well, just in general. But these are great, especially on these reissues. Man, I can't imagine the excitement level in 58 to think to pick up one of these guitars, plug it into a big Marshall or something and just hear these pickups for the first time and say, man, this is cool. So anyway, I'm going to get off that little bit of, of dreaming and fantas fantasy land there. Um, come by and see us. Fly in, drive in, train, truck, U-Haul, whatever you got. Bring it, come on down, see this guitar, see other guitars. Uh, we'd love to hang out with you. Um, you can also go to moreguitars.com, which is where most of you are going to see this. But we have these two. Are these the only two we have right now? Okay. We ordered a bunch, um, got some in, sold some, got some more coming in. But these are the only ones for a while. Um, these may be the last of them. So if you want these, you better grab them, moreguitars.com. Thank you all. Stay safe. Be good to each other. Be kind. Don't let this COVID stuff get you down. Stay together. Stick together.